What's up, YouTube? Welcome back for another video for Diablo 4 here on the channel. Today, we have a video about how Blizzard might be able to correctly fix the problem that we have in the game without just putting bandage over it, which seems like the fix that they're trying to go with. I do think that the solution that they came up with is a really good band-aid, but I don't think it's going to solve the long-term problems that we might run into, not just with this problem, but for other things that might pop up uh, in a similar vein. So what is the problem that we're going to have to deal with here? Well, first, remember to like the video if you want to see more D4 content. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more of my D4 content, and let's talk about it. The problem is Lilith statues and the Renown grind. So this was a hot topic, and uh, they've kind of quelled people's um, anger by doing what? What is the problem? And the problem was that the grind for getting off the Lilith statues just was not fun. Um, you can get a good portion of the Lilith statues naturally by playing through the game and just picking them up as you see them, but some of them are pretty well hidden, and also some of them are just in spots that the campaign would never have you go to, and then we also know that a lot of these places, you just don't have a reason to visit them uh, post-campaign either. There's no dungeons en route to them. Now you can teleport to the, uh, you know, to your nightmare dungeons in the hell tides. You're not really looking for Lilith statues. You're farming mobs, trying to get these chests open. There's not a lot of reason to even find Lilith statues post campaign out in the world. So just, it was a problem with the statues, where they're located, how many of them there are and stuff like that. And then the other problem was the renown grind. As you know, that you, you need to grind out renown in every area and there are certain thresholds that you meet and you get certain rewards, with the final reward being uh, Paragon levels, four Paragon levels per area, and that is a very important reward in terms of power level for your character. That means you have to do this if you want to have the strongest character you, you can possibly have. And in a world where, well, if you're watching this, you're part of the group where everybody's terminally online, Everybody's looking for the best, most efficient way to do a thing, looking for the guides, looking for the hints, looking for the tips, looking for everything. You're not going to be the person who misses out on those rewards for the renown grind. So you have to do it. Uh, this means completing all the strongholds, which isn't bad. Finding all the Lilith statues, because that's a good portion of your renown. Doing side quests, so on and so forth. So the problem is that these things are not fun to redo. Um, it's not that the idea of these things is not fun. I think that in nature, they're good. Uh, I think it's a pretty unique idea to have to find the Lilith statues. And I think the Renown grind isn't even that bad. You know, maybe after a couple of seasons of redoing it, it could get definitely a bit repetitive. How is Blizzard going to fix the problem? Well, they had the solution of making the Lilith statues a one-time completion. So after you go through and you get all the Lilith statues one time, Bada bing, bada boom, they're done. You never have to get them again. You can choose to get them again every season, which means uh, they will help towards the renowned completion for that zone. Uh, but you don't need to, as you will keep the main reward, which is a ton of flat stats for your character. And among other things, uh, you will keep those permanently on all of your characters all the time. This means when you make a new character, you know, you're starting out with 70 plus strength, int, all kinds of stuff. Uh, levels, you know, skill levels, the works. You're getting all of this stuff on your character from level one till the end of time. The other thing that they were going to do was make some of your renown carry over into the new season. This is going to be to help with the renown grind so you didn't have to grind quite as much. And uh, the things that you did grind uh, wouldn't feel quite as bad because there weren't as many bars that you had to fill up, so to say. This is definitely a way to fix the problem. I don't think it's the way to fix a problem. Personally, I think it's a bad way to fix a problem. Uh, this wastes dev time, right? So the developers, they spent time uh, you know, developing these things, uh, trying to make these cool interactive things out in the world that are unique to Diablo 4, you know, creating world-building situations, uh, trying to get you out there learning these little bits of lore through the side quests, finding the, uh, you know, finding these little interesting spots in the world to get the, you know, Lilith statues. And I think they've done a very good job at that portion of the uh, systems. By removing that, you're removing some interesting parts of the world that were built. And you're just turning it into this cookie clicker style of game. Now, that's a slippery slope type of deal. By doing just these two specific things that they're talking about, it's not uh, you know removing 
the world of, of Diablo 4. But when you combine that, and then you add in the also recent change of being able to teleport to dungeons, right? You just keep compounding these problems. They keep, you know, adding on to each other. You're eventually just going to be left with what Diablo 3 was. And that was never leaving the town unless you had to go farm bounties, which you just didn't have to do at a certain point in the season. Uh, so you never leave town. You only open up rifts, go in the portal, back to town, go in the portal, back to town, go in the portal, back to town. And that was it. You never had to explore any of the world in Diablo 3 for any reason. And, you know, maybe for some people that's, uh, you know, that's a good game. But for me personally, I, I don't think that's good at all. The the part of a uh, ARPG, especially when they're trying to do this open world kind of system, is to be out there in that world, seeing these other people, seeing their gear, their skills, how they're doing things, uh, and exploring these these things. It's a band-aid fix that they're putting on here, right? So they found the problem. Instead of dealing with the underlying issue, they're just putting a band-aid over the issue, either to buy time to fix it correctly later, which I don't have too high of hopes in, or just to put the band-aid on till people forget about it, and it's just a system that will be you know, lost in time in the Diablo universe. Now, there is a way that I think they could fix this problem, and I don't think it's a particular hard thing for them to do. I'm not a developer. I don't claim to know how that system works or anything like that. But it seems like my idea here and an idea. I'm not the I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not the head of this idea, right? I've heard a lot of people talking about it. And there seems to be a pretty general consensus that a lot of people agree. Uh, the way that you would want to fix this problem is getting rid of the source of the problem and that is that people feel like they have to do these things because they're mandatory and you'll say oh but oh, Jimbo they're not mandatory if you don't like it just don't do it but there's player power that is directly tied to these systems and when you have player power directly tied to a system that means people have to do it because you're you're not just going to not do a thing to have a weaker character. It's just people aren't going to do it, right? Uh, so the way you're going to fix that problem is to get rid of player power out of the rewards. There's no reason for Paragon points to be a reward for getting your renown up. It just doesn't make sense. And just from the inception of the idea, you know, I don't, I don't know how they think in the offices, but for me, the very first thing I thought of when they said that, you know, the last reward for Paragon uh, for the renowned system was going to be Paragon points. I said, uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Things like this need to have, you know, passive, uh, cosmetic, fun rewards tied to them, right? They need to be interesting and fun rewards and have no direct tie to the power level of your character, right? So getting the Lilith statues should give some fun rewards and maybe even some gear drops along the way that are completely RNG, so it's not mandatory to do it. You know, you complete all of the Lilith statues, you get a random unique item drop, right? Could be crap, could be good. It's random, just like any other piece of gear that drops on the ground, you know? Uh, the Lilith statues themselves should also be cut down in number. I really do like the idea of the Lilith statues, but having to farm 30 or more Lilith statues in every single zone it's a little excessive. It's a little excessive. It makes it feel like it was put there specifically as a farm instead of just being this cool, interesting thing that you come across in each area of the game. Um, also, a little more lore behind the Lilith statues as to why they're there, what purpose they serve, why you're collecting them. Maybe that is in the game somewhere. I feel like I've done a good portion of the side quests, and I do pay attention to a lot of the conversations that are going on during the side quests, but I haven't really found anything uh, that really explains in a good detail. And perhaps I just haven't come across it yet. But if that's the case, having you know a level 85 character, multiple other characters, having played in the betas and all that stuff, not having found this information myself, I can't imagine very many other people are either, especially more casual players. There are really good side quests and side quests in the game, like the uh, buy three they come side quest. If you haven't found that, I uh, suggest you search it out and do it. It's a really good side quest and it's really good story. It's put together pretty well and it's definitely worth doing. 
the Lilith statues could somehow be tied into things like that also. So lower the number of Lilith statues and make the rewards more fun and have no direct correlation to player power. Now, obviously, they've already given people this player power from the Lilith statues. Um, they could take it away pre-season one. And, you know, it wouldn't be a big deal. Everybody just starts fresh at zero. This would be better for the longevity of the game because the fact that the Lilith statues give permanent upgrades to your character goes against one of the core principles of an ARPG. The part of an ARPG and starting fresh on a season that matters is everybody is on a level playing ground. So if you are a player who played during this preseason era that we're in right now, and you've collected all of your Lilith statues, anybody that's starting the game at season one, because they found the game through advertising or content creators or whatever, uh, after the game's launch, they're starting out at a direct disadvantage that's unnecessary and goes against the whole point of there being a fresh season start. So getting rid of the reward from Lilith statues not only would make the Lilith statues not feel mandatory to do, but also get rid of that uh, head start jump that people are going to get and kind of erodes away at the principles of a ARPG fresh season start. The other thing that they can do is make the uh, make this make the renown grind along with we discussed earlier not having player power tied directly to it. Right, add fun, interesting rewards, titles, cosmetics, achievements, things like that. Um, make there be more ways to get that renown that you're passively doing in the game right give us renown for doing hell tides give us renown for world bosses give us renown for side quests we already have give us renown for repeating dungeons not just first clears give us renown for killing uh special mobs that are in that are in areas right give us renown for just doing these things so that way the renown grind doesn't feel like a grind it just happens naturally while you're playing the game uh, this would be the best system for this. It still gets people out there playing the game to complete the Renown, but it doesn't feel like it's mandatory for you to do, and you're not going to feel rushed to do it, and you don't need to do specific things to complete the Renown grind, right? You don't be like, oh, crap, well, today I got to do 10 side quests if I want to finish this Renown grind. You know, the just let it happen naturally. I think that that would be the best system to to fix these problems. And there's still time for Blizzard to you know get these work these these fixes in. Now we do have a dev update coming later this week. If you're watching this video uh, on on the on the release date, um, the dev chat. I don't think this is a fireside chat. I think this is just a dev chat. Uh, will be in a couple of days from now, and it's going to talk about the release date and the theming and and what to expect from the season one launch and it's possible that they already have some of these fixes in and we just haven't heard about them yet we did see in the first uh campfire chat that they have a 13 page at that time uh packet of things that they want to do right uh, things or ideas that they have for changes coming for season one so it's very likely that maybe they already have these things uh you know these these fixes in the works but we haven't heard word of that yet, and uh, we haven't had any reason to think they would, especially after they announced the Band-Aid fix that they plan to do. So, hey, Blizzard, if you're listening, don't erode away at the core principles of the ARPG. Don't erode away at your own world-building attempts that you've put into the game and fix these problems correctly now so that you're not building upon uh, some shaky ground going into the future, right? Get the core foundation you know, fixed now and uh, make it easier to build the game in the future. Anyways, guys, hey, I'm Yojimbo. That's all I got to say today. Just wanted to give my two cents on that. Again, like the video, subscribe, comment what you think down below. Let me know. Do you do you mind doing Renown Grinds? Do you mind the little statues? You know, let me know what your thoughts on those things are, and I'll catch you guys later. Adios, muchachos.